सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वैकेबलरी ऑफ द पोइम स्पोर्ट्स मैन एंड द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स क्लियर लेट स्टार्ट सो कॉमरेड मीन्स अ पर्सन हु फेवर्स यू बाउंड अ थिंग दैट इज सर्टन टू डू सर्टन टू डू समथिंग थर्ड इज गार्ड गार्ड मीन्स अ पर्सन हु प्रोटेक्ट्स then any aching aching ho jayega pain var the est var the est means डिजर्विंग मोस्ट डिजर्विंग या आई कैन आई एल गिव यू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल देन हार्ड नट means uh, difficult difficult work so these are the extra word meanings rest uh, are given in your note uh, these books rest are given in your books at the bottom of the page you can see so these are some extra word meanings which i found it is difficult for you so i have given you the meanings for that now we will come to the comprehension part so the question number 1 is <clears throat> question number 1 is why was the boy not distracted when he looked at the children shouting and laughing so why he was not distracted the boy was not distracted when he looked at the children shouting and laughing the boy was not distracted when he looked at the children shouting and laughing because he had promised a thing to him and that he is bound to do answer number 2 what kind of the pitch was there the pitch was slippery answer number 3 what did the boy think just for a moment for a moment boy <coughs> sorry the boy thought
that he would lose he would lose that lose that game or in other words we can say that he felt as if he will not be able to uh he will not be able to um, not be able to keep his promise to win that game answer number 4 why did the boy change his mind the boy changed his mind because one should perform his or her duty come what may man should live by his principles man should live by his principles his or her principles in his life and should always be ready to achieve his or her aim goal ready to achieve his or her goal despite of all the obstacles or hurdles on the way in spite of all the obstacles and hurdles on the way answer number 5 <clears throat> do things in uh, do things in life always go well no things sometimes don't go well but 
person should not lose heart and should carry on his struggle with determination mission and positivity determination and domination and the determination and courage no things sometimes don't go well but person should not lose heart and should carry on with his struggle with determination and courage that's it i think it's more than enough for you um now we come to the book we are over with this uh, part i have given you some extra word meanings then i have uh, discussed the question answers with you you can write it down i am showing you this i have explained you as well as i have written it for you We will come to this exercise part. We have completed this. Now we come to this. What is the name of the poet? A. D. Abraham. Uh, which sport is the poet talking about? It is talking about the cricket. And who stands against the ball on the slippery pitch? Batsman. Write the part of the speech of the coloured words. Now here we have to write the part of speech. A dog guards our house. Now here we have to find out guards. It's a verb. There are many guards in this factory. It's a noun, common noun. I promise him to give money. I promise him. Don't make false promise. That's a noun. I promise him. It is a form of verb only. The well is narrow and deep. The well. It's a noun. Don't feel well. To, uh, I don't feel well today. Feel well. It's an uh, adjective. It was really a great thought. It's a noun. It's an abstract noun. We thought that we would win. It's a verb. Word part. Circle the correct words in the bracket. Two boys were walking beside a creek they were hoping to find some male deer that had been seen grazing on the berry trees that grew in the vicinity vicinity means an area near or sur surrounding a particular place it was only last week one had been seen running across the dusty road which runs along the side of the forest
which runs along the side of the forest so here we have beside a creek creek is a very um, narrow choti si river ki jo hoti hai na jaise hum spring bolte hain spring se bhi choti hoti hai creek usko bolte hain choti si river ka jo ek uh, part hota hai usko hum creek bol sakte hain write the opposite of the following words downward upwards tired fresh lack abund abundance ya sufficient we can write it brave coward worthy worthless difficult easy great netaji chandra bose india and so we have to unjumble it uh नेताजी सुभाष चंद्रा बोस वॉज अ ग्रेट लीडर ऑफ इंडिया ही रिजाइंड his ICS post and joined the Congress joined the congress and he resigned mm -hmm. he resigned and ics resigned his post and joined the uh he resigned he offer offer okay this sentence i will discuss with my colleague and then i will let you know okay fine he went to jail many times <clears throat> he felt to do more he felt he should that he should he felt that he should do more for he felt that he should do more for india felt that he felt that he he felt that he can students this i will discuss with you tomorrow so for today it is more than enough okay so you complete your part up till this